Kenapa kenyata? Hi, this is Cooking Apa. Um, Apa hasn't got a chance to go to Jalan Alo for a long, long time. Uh, so I try to recreate one of their famous dish, which is the uh, grilled fish, yeah? the ikan baka along Jalan Alo style. So their style is actually, they will actually coat the uh, fish with some uh, turmeric powders. They probably use some curry powder as well. Anyway, I'm using turmeric powders. And also then pan fry it. After that, they will actually make a dip, yeah, a dipping sauce. Um, I think they probably use chincharu. I don't have chincharu with me today, but still, I'm going to make something very similar. So very quickly, look at the ingredient. I have one of the stingray, yeah, one piece of stingray here, probably about two hundred fifty grams, and I actually cut it, uh, make some few slits, yeah, on the fish body. Later, we are going to marinate it. And this is some uh, uh, turmeric powder and I added some water to make it into very thick uh, paste of which I'm also going to add in some salt. When you eat it later, it will also have some base flavour. Okay, this is added water and some salt to make it into very thick paste. And we will need some shallot and also a clemency. So let's prep the fish. First of all, I'm going to put some oil on the banana leaves and put the fish on top. Next thing, I'm going to put some turmeric powder. Just give it some, a very thin layer, not too thick. Yeah? And you want it to be on uh, both sides. Oh, I forgot to make few slits over this side. Ah, it's okay. <laughs> you can also um, put in some salt as well. Just in case the salt just now is not enough. Ooh. The hand is very, very messy. Okay, some salt. Right, okay, a wall or pan, and we are going to give it some oil. Heat it up. Once you have heated up the wall and oil, you can actually put in the fish together with the banana leaves. Later, we may uh, need to uh, change to a fresh banana leaf sometime in the middle, yeah? Because it will actually, uh, the banana leaf will actually get burned along the way. Just change to a new one later. I'm going to use a cover with a lid to uh, help the cooking process. Uh, we are going to, I'm going to check it after about one, two minutes later. We'll come back shortly. Ooh, this is after approximately one, two minutes. I can smell the banana leaves aroma. Very, very fragrant. The banana leaves is actually very important here. Yeah, it is not just for show. I'll try to flip it over. Let it continue pan fry. You can actually put in a little bit more oil if you find it a bit too dry. I'll close the lid again and give it another one, two minutes. We'll come back shortly. You can really see the fumes coming out from the banana leaves is currently um, really giving the fish a very in-depth flavor. This is after another two minutes. Just going to turn one more round. Wow, very nice. <laughs> Close it again. Give it another two minutes. Almost there. All right. 
Wow. Ooh, nice beautiful char. Look at this. Look at how beautiful the fish is. Beautiful char. Now I'm going to take out the banana leaves. I have fresh one on the serving plate, yeah? Is it fully cooked right now? Let's make it a bit more dry. Mmm! Super fragrant. Alright. Oh, look at how beautiful it is. Let me very carefully take it out. Here's our fish. Look at how beautiful it is. Let's very quickly make the dipping sauce. Alright, I have a dipping plate here and some uh, sliced shallot. I'm going to give a little bit of light soya sauce. This is my own way, alright? I think they use chincharu. Some fish sauce. And we have the calamansi. There you go. The dipping sauce is ready. Of course, you can remove the seeds. This calamansi is for you to actually drench it over on the fish. Okay, so I hope you like my very simple video today. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Fish Fan page to click like and follow button. Follow Appa on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.